Uh, hi, my name is Tim. Uh, this is my 1971 Dodge Charger. Um, I've had the car for about 11 years. Um, I completely uh, redid the car 11 years ago. Um, I rebuilt the engine myself. Uh, I had the transmission done and I installed it myself. I rebuilt the rear end. Completely redid the uh, rear suspension with my fiance. We did it together. And uh, redid the front suspension with her as well, helping me. Also redid the interior myself. I'll probably never do that again. I'll pay an interior person to do it. <laughs> it was very difficult. Um, the only thing that I didn't do on the car is I had the car painted uh, by Uriah Spottycraft and Carol String. Was your better head for the car? What's that? Oh, she. This car was built for her because I have another car, oh, really? and this is mainly her car. Really? Wow. So how did you pick the color? Oh, we both love the lime green. It's a kind of a color you either like it or you hate it. <laughs> oh yeah, we've won a lot of awards, and uh, and uh, she races this car also. Really? She'll she'll drive it two hours up to Byron and race it all day at Byron and drive it home. Hey, it's what? very dependable, very fun. What we kind of, we go to shows, cruises. We've won quite a few trophies with it. There you go. And then you belong to the Chicago Land. Mopar. We've bought quite a few car clubs, uh, Chicago and Mopar Connection, Old Gold Cruisers, or a couple of them. Tires and rims are we looking at here? Oh, they're Magnum 500 wheels. Um, they've especially made to 15 by 10 inches wide in the back, 15 by 8 in the front. They're made by Vintage Classics. There you go, there you go. And uh, how did you decide on this model? Well, my very first car was a 73 Charger. And um, we found this model, and Sharon really liked it as well. And it wasn't real when we did this car. It wasn't really popular because in uh, in the movie Bullet, the '68 Charger was very popular, and the Dukes of Hazard was '69 Charger, and Fast and the Furious was a '70. This being a '71, in the new body style, they changed everything. Nobody really wanted them, and then we decided on this one, and and now it seems to have grown in popularity. Got the. Uh I didn't know if you talked about the engine already. Um, well, it's a, a 440. It's punched 40 over, uh -huh. uh, 10 and a half to one compression, um, with a 590 lift cam with one six rockers, and a tunnel ram with a dual quad 500 CFM carburetors. Okay. In the translation, what will that do in a quarter mile? Uh, on street tires, it, it's it's a 13 seconds, and on slicks, it does 12 seconds. Okay. And then the. Uh, oh, I know. What was I going to say? The, uh, how much uh, horsepower? Well, I, I, I'll kind of keep that to myself. Okay, sure, sure, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. And do you have any other uh, plans for the car? Uh, well, we're thinking about nitrous. Uh, might be putting that on it. Right, right. I want to get her comfortable in the 12s because when she first started, she was in the 13s driving it, and now. I want to make sure she's comfortable in 12 second range and if she can handle that I'll put nitrous on it. Now who got into the cars first? You oh me. <laughs> but I met when I met her she loved cars as much as me. Uh, her rules are if the bills are paid we're allowed to spend money on the car. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. How many hours do you have into... Uh... Oh god we lost track of that. It took, uh, we actually, uh, we did the car in 11 months. Uh -huh. I used to own my own shop, so that made it a little easier back then. I sold my shop in 2013. Now you're retired. Oh, no, that'd be nice. Not quite. <laughs> Anything to crank her up? I could. Anything special about the interior? Oh, it's a pretty much stock. I mean, it's got a, it's got a, uh, a forward manual valve body transmission which means you have to shift it and downshift it uh -huh. okay and it's just got some extra gauges and an extra tack um, it's got a, a line lock which means uh, you can lock the front brake to, to, to launch it um, the switches are for the fuel pump and the the uh, extra fans on the motor that are there other than that it's pretty much a stock interior thanks for watching 